So how was this morning with the scrimmage? It's pretty good. Uh, you know, from what I saw, there's, there's, uh, we got a chance to let a lot of young guys play. A uh, bunch of them. I don't know one that stood out to me is Cedric Giles. I mean, yeah. making plays all over the field, and and several other young guys. You know, uh, this, another big thing about the scrimmage this morning is like, I mean, it was it was back and forth all day. But like, you'd have corners were just blanketed in receivers, and all of a sudden, you know, Dak throws the ball up, and uh, the receiver goes and makes a play. You know, but it just just play making skills everywhere. Chris, what's it like for you to be out there again? I mean. Last year, kind of injured and, and really didn't get going. I mean, what's it like for you to have mid spring? And... I miss it's a big confidence boost for me. Like you said last year, it was big, big down here for me. I didn't have opportunity to have a red shirt here, so it was big, big down here for me. But coming out, I had pretty decent spring. And me and Cam, we, we work on everything together pretty much. I, I watch him, he sees something wrong, he tell me what I need to do. I try and stay on him. We, even though we, he does start on the backup, there's no animosity between us at all. Mm -hmm. I just feel like um, I play my role and I'm having a pretty good camp so far. Chris, when did you start finding Drew a little bit last year after you know, had to sit out that first game or so? When did you start feeling getting back into it? Probably, I have to say the spring because that whole season really? I was pretty much nicked up from going in. Yeah. Probably the spring I felt comfortable at um, the wheel back up. Me and Cam got in and we kind of conversed a little bit on the wheel position because I made a transition from Sam to wheel, which is you know, on the field to the boundary. We kind of got in, I got him to play a little better. And I, I feel real comfortable at you know, wheel. I like the back of my in the box type. Don't, it almost feel like you got like a year behind almost. It's had to be <coughs> frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I, I missed out. I just missed out on the whole year. I just, and I see them last year when I was injured or whatever, trying to come back. I see them out there ball and making plays. And I just, you, you just feel like I just missed the whole year. Cam, talk about Deontay and how quiet he is, but yeah, he's so productive. I mean, he, he's so much on the radar, but he said he prefers it that way. But I mean, the guy definitely. I mean, that's just that's Skinner's personality. I mean, you know, if you look at him on the field, you think he'd be, you know, a showboat, you know, loud talker. But man, he's he's quiet. Kind of has a little high pitched voice. We're, all, we're always uh, giving him our time about. But man, he's just a good guy down to the soul. But he's got a mean streak to him, and you know, he, he can play some ball. That's for sure. Talk about that. Uh, I mean, you, you guys have been here and, and y'all been through the battles, but what's it like to watch? I, I guess not from the far because you're right beside them, but to see that battle with the linebacker with, with two guys that are there's not much different between McKinney and Bowman. I know they're different styles, but as far as who might start or who might not start, how much difference? Talk about that battle. Uh, I like. I mean, um, they got. They got. I, they, I feel like they both SEC linebackers. They complement each other. They got two different things. They better and I really like I, I feel like this should be fifty fifty between the two of them. Um, that's me, that's how I feel about it. But two two good middle line about this that's how I feel about it. Yeah, I mean they're as far as like how the game goes, they bring they're, they're so dynamic in their own way, you know. You got Bernard who's long, tall, can do some things that Bo can't, you know, Bo, you know, short stalker, you know, good run stopper, a good goal line guy and I mean just having two guys that are so different it's it's really going to help our defense as a whole. I mean, and plus, you know, them battling it back and forth just makes everybody better. I know. I mean, you know, they're, they like each other. You know, no animosity, but you know, they're battling. You know, competition's good for everybody. Cam, uh, Coach Collins tell us he gave you a reading assignment this summer. Blink, is that right? Yeah, uh, I hadn't got to read much of it, but you know, I kind of briefed over, it, scanned through it uh, over the summer. I had a little off time. Basically, it's like rapid cognition. You know, like. So it really related because, like, you know, in football, everything happens really fast. And, like, the main, I guess, to sum the whole book up is, like, you know, knowing that you know something without your brain knowing it. So it's like, you know, you walk up to the line of scrimmage and, you know, quarterback's going through his cadence and you don't know that you know it, but you're, you're picking up all these keys <coughs> and stuff telling you, okay, it's about to be passed. Kind of, you know, if you can get the gif of that, that's kind of what the book was about. Chris, does Cam almost seem like he's a Peyton Manning for the defense? I mean, we heard last year Auburn game, and yeah. all him calling out plays, knowing what's coming. Yeah, I mean, how, how, how much does that help you guys? Well, I mean, it really helps us all a lot. On the linebacker, we take pride in talking and being the leaders of the de defense, really. So, I mean, yeah, I feel like he's the quarterback a bunch of times. He get in and he watch film and he know what's coming, so he kind of direct everything. I'm trying to hold everybody accountable for what we got to do. I try, I try and do my part as well. Cam, which one of your group made Chris Wilson put a highlight tape on YouTube? 
uh, one of which uh, Christian Holmes, he loves he loves getting some you know some stuff going between the coaches, but. Yeah, Coach Coach Wilson's got a pretty nice highlight video if any of y'all have ever seen it. But uh, he says he had a. So you tell me it was Christian because he said he had a player just going, on. Coach. I bet you couldn't do that when you played. Yeah, and uh, Coach Wilson came back and I forget when it was. It's was actually a while back when he came in and put that video on. And we were like, oh, like, wow. <laughs> it was balling. So for sure. So we all, I mean, took his respect yeah, like it was way up, you know. Camp for the first time since you've been here in Preacher and over got too, but. Kind of weird to say this, but you guys had the same linebackers coach for the first time in back-to-back -back seasons. How big of a difference is it? It's been huge. You know, can't give enough props to Coach Collins. I know, I know he's taking my game to a whole new level. And you know, as far as like coming in and getting us prepared for games, like telling us, you know, they're doing all the behind-the-scenes work, like telling us the keys and stuff. They tell us what to execute, and I mean, he's just been he's been great as a whole. And you know, you just get. Switching coaches year to year, you just you know it, it's it's hard on the player to get adjusted. But uh, him being there, you know we've got to know him, feel comfortable with him, we know his ways, and it's it's been good. I'm gonna ask both of you, where do you think Deontay is most dangerous? Does hand the dirt or stand upright? He's he's a freak in a good way for sure. He can I've seen him do it all. Uh, it's big and as long as he is, you would think he wouldn't be able to move, but. I mean, he's playing Sam linebacker right now for us, and he's out in space. Yeah. He makes open field tackles, and I've seen him put his hand in the ground. We got you know several packages when he, when he gets down, you know, on the end, and he can rush just like he's a DN, you know. So it's hard to say which he's better at. I don't know yeah, what he, you would think. He's definitely multi talented. I mean, he can put his hand on the dirt, and he can play in space. Good, good open field tackle to be that to be that big two forty plus. Very good open field tackle, and he got real good closing speed. So I mean, mm -hmm. he multi he multi talented. He can go more. Chris, was there some doubt in your mind that linebacker would work? I mean, just because of your body type, you were like, you know, first of all, I'm going to have to put on weight, but second of all, is, is, is over time, is this going to work? Was there any doubt when they came to you and said this is what you want to do? Coming in as a freshman, you was like, you're going to build on me. I looked at a doubt. I mean, I was a safe, safety body frame type. I look around like these guys. I mean, SEC linebackers, right. two, 240, 250, and I was 210 pushing that. But um, my, man, my mindset is um, I try and be a tough guy, really. Um, no feel, so I had to do what I had to do, put on the weight, and um, I kind of fell in love with the linebacker position. You guys, last year going to the season, so like the biggest question was, what's going to be what's going to be like a linebacker? So many new guys, what's kind of middle linebacker? <coughs> do you feel like it, it almost seems like this might be the strength of the team now? I, I would definitely agree with that statement. I know last year, you know, losing KJ, Chris White, everybody, you know, that just, you know, pointing fingers at the linebacker position, you know, who's going to step up? and. We took it as a challenge. I know our whole linebacker group. We, you know, we had a chip on our shoulder in the off season, going through the season. And I feel like, you know, last year we established ourselves and kind of proved ourselves to the fan base, to everybody that, you know, we're going to do our part. And then it's just kind of rolled over this year. We brought in some young guys and developed depth. Depth has been huge for our linebacker core. You know, we've got to our last year we might have had four linebackers SEC caliber this year. We got six or seven guys that can step in and, and you know hold their own. You know, you're the leading returning tackler in the SEC. You're not getting a lot of all SEC recognition. What do you think of that? Uh it's just it's just kind of fuel to the fire. You know, that's what I tell everybody. But you know, I, I really try not to get caught up in all the all the accolades or whatnot. You know, last year I wasn't worried about <laughs> tackles or nothing. It's just you know I, I was trying to get the wins, trying yeah. to take it one game at a time, and everything just kind of fell into its place. What's your brother doing? He's doing pretty good. Uh, I ain't got to talk to him much. You know, he's been camping just like we are. And uh, but he's playing. Uh, he's playing. Last time I talked to him, he used him as like a utility guy, playing tackle, guard, all across the board. And uh, he's getting a lot of reps. So so that's good. Hopefully, you know, hang in, make the cuts. Good to be able to learn from him a little bit here. For sure. Very you for next year. I mean, definitely. You know, even coming in from high school to college, having a brother, you know, kind of a step ahead. It helps you, you know, prepare for the uh, prepare for you know your your next step. But he kind of got the shorter end of the stick, I guess, because he didn't have an older brother. So it, it's kind of helped me out a little bit. Everybody <clears throat> good? Thanks, guys.